Hi, welcome back to the Guitar RX channel. Today we're going to do something a little different while we wait for parts to come in for some of our guitar projects. Okay, have you guys ever wondered about like painting your own guitar, and, but you always have a difficult time holding the body and maneuvering it around to, to paint all the sides and edges? Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple rotisserie using a piece of Baltic birch, some 2x3, and a inch and a quarter dowel rod and an inch and a quarter inner diameter piece of PVC pipe. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to make some uprights, which I've already measured. It's an inch, it's three quarters of an inch on both sides to center for a two by three. And basically, we're going to put one there, one there, and you'll eventually have this top on there. We're going to scale up in the wood so this sits inside. And basically, this dowel rod's going to go through there, and we're going to cut this so we can fix the guitar body to it, and it'll spin around. Anyways, let's get going on this project, and uh, I'll be right back. We do some cut. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in this scallop right here, for, so this will sit inside of it. If you want, just follow me back here to the saw. I'm going to do it on a scroll saw. Be real careful when you use power tools. Be careful that you don't cut yourself. Power tools can be dangerous and accidents happen quick. There we go, we got the scalp. Let's see how it sits with the pipe. And there you go. The pipe sits in there. Basically, we're going to screw this right to the top of that. And let me get the other one cut out, and then we'll come back and we'll start putting this stuff together. Okay, the next step I'm going to do is drill two holes in both sides of these for the uprights. It doesn't have to be exact, but I got a kind of measured center between each two ends. One and we're gonna go right about to there for a and then do the same thing on this side. Okay. Now we're gonna come back here and what I'm gonna do next is we're gonna place these uprights on. And right through the bottom there, I'm going to shoot some screws up through there. Okay, we're back. And now we're going to screw the uprights to the base. I drilled some holes. And also, when off camera, I rounded off the base and stuff. And made it like a lot nicer looking and stuff. Anyways, we're going to take some... I got some 2-inch steel screws. We're going to take these. Let me prop, use this for a prop. Okay. We're going to take these steel screws. And we're going to screw the base. Uh, to the uprights. I got one already in. And sorry for all the wind today. It's really windy outside. Actually, coming pretty soon to the channel, we may have some new digs and we're going to be working on it coming up. <laughs> Video should look a lot better. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this 2x4 up to that line on the bottom. Just like that. Um, Let me line this up. There we go. Make sure we're out to the edge. We're close enough. We're going to come back. We're going to bore the screw a little bit into the wood too so it's not sticking out on the bottom so it'll sit nice and flat. Let's double check this. Make sure everything's good. Put our cross piece in just what we want. Beautiful. Let me put the other screw in here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to screw down the tube where the rotisserie is basically going to run through. 
and that'll give it a whole lot of strength. Oops. Maybe I'll just see that one. Okay. Now we're going to screw the upright to here. What I did, I drilled a big hole in the top, basically so we can slip the, the driver through. And there's a smaller hole in the bottom, and the screw's going to go all the way through. So we're going to go just like this. We're going to get this started. Right through there, and I'm going to center it a little bit. Make sure we're dead. That should be just fine. Okay, that one's in. Now we're gonna do the same as the other side. And I did miss somehow. Oh, he broke his screw. God. That's rare, but it's okay. We got plenty, we're just gonna do it on the side. That's in. Now we're going to put another one in here. That one. Line it up. There we go. And try this one home. Okay. Now I got the rod in which the guitar is going to hang from through there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a 5 16 hole here and here. And we're going to take some of this dowel rod and make a stop and put it through so this won't go falling out of there. So anyways, let me do that real quick and we'll get right back to you. We're just going to drill straight through and then we're going to insert the rod with some wood glue. Okay, we got the dowel pins in to keep this from flying out of here when the guitar's hanging on there. This one's going to pull out and push back in. This one here is glued in the back. So basically now we're going to put a handle on this end and, and we're going to drill this to accommodate a guitar body to hang a body on there. I'll be right back when we're back. We'll have the handle on the back. Actually, let me show you the handle. Keep focusing on this. I'm going to go through it. Decided to go a little steampunk with this. We're gonna go with a nice big handle like that. We're gonna center it in there, screw it in there with the washer, and then we're gonna be able to turn this thing any which way we need it. Anyways, when I get back, I'll have this mounted, and we'll have that drilled out, and I'll have a guitar mounted to you to it and show you guys how, what's what. Anyways, we'll be right back. Okay, here we are the next day, and the rotisserie is all put together. I did something different. I decided instead of mounting the body on the end of this, it would have been real awkward. So I made this paddle out of birch plywood, basically to fit in the neck pocket. So with a couple wing nuts and small screws, basically it goes right in there. And it goes to here. Later on I'm going to come in and cut these screws down a little bit, make it look better. I'll show at the end of the video, I'll show this thing all cleaned up and ready to go. But here's the concept. So you've got this to turn the body. You mount your body on there. This is a body that I'm not painting. It's too windy out today to actually to actually paint, but I am going to use this and do a video using it in the near future. Basically, you get either your spray can or your spray gun, and you can start inside on, on the sides like this, roll it, and just keep that going. You can keep the, the spray going through the whole thing just by, by turning the guitar. And basically then you can walk around, you spray back, you spray underneath, everywhere and you don't have to worry about hanging it and getting running drips or anything like that and the guitar could sit up here and set up and dry basically on here and then you could second coat it you just keep going at it like that anyways we'll give you a quick walk around of all this there's birch ply a poplar rod a piece of PVC two two by threes a piece of birch ply and a giant valve plumbing valve basically to turn it and a couple of, of dolls in there just to keep this from going in and out from dropping the body or whatever but there you go an easy to make very cheap to make guitar rotisserie for painting your guitar 
And there you have it. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And if I could just ask you all, I know a lot of people have been watching my videos, but we're not getting a lot of subscribers, and we're not getting a lot of likes on the videos because a lot of people just don't log into their YouTube account. So if y'all could please, please log into your account, like the video, subscribe to the channel. That way I could keep going and do more stuff. And, uh, you know, we got a ton of projects coming up here. And uh, I just, you know, want to keep going with this. So if y'all would please just like and subscribe to my videos, it would be excellent. If you smash the button on the right-hand bottom side of the screen, subscribe, and just go down and just hit that thumbs up. Thanks, anyways, for watching. Have a great day from Guitar RX. And, uh, yeah, build one of these little things for yourself. Real easy to make, and it'll save you a whole lot of problems painting. All right. On that note, take care.